Using the Auto Archive feature in Outlook is a great way to move email offline so you can save email without it taking up space in your mailbox. This feature automatically moves files from your Exchange server to an offline email folder on your computer. It even recreates your mailbox's folder structure. If you set up Auto Archive using the defaults, every 14 days a message will pop up on your computer asking if you want to Auto Archive. If you click Yes, Auto Archive will run and will move anything older than six months to an offline folder. This offline folder will appear in Outlook so you can always view it on your computer. 14 days and six months are the default time periods. You can change them to fit your needs. To set up Auto Archive, go to the Tools menu, select Options, Click on the Other tab and click Auto Archive. The first thing you need to do is decide how often you want to run Auto Archive. You do this in the first line. 14 is the default, but you can use the arrows to change the frequency or you can type in a number. You want to make sure that Prompt Before Auto Archive Runs is checked. This way Outlook will ask you if you want to archive and you can select yes or no. Next, in the default folder settings section, select how old the items you archive will be. Again, you can use the arrows or you can type a number to change the number. You can also change it from months to weeks or days. The default is six months and that seems to work well for many people. But if your mailbox fills up often, you may want to select a shorter period of time. Now you need to decide where you want to archive to. If you already have an offline email file, you can select to archive to that file, or you can create a new file. Either way, you'll click on the Browse button. If you have already created your own offline email file, then navigate to it, select it, and click OK. If you do not have an offline email file, then you'll navigate to where you want to save the file. I'm going to put it in my documents. In the file name box, type the name you would like to give the file. Then click OK. Now I have set to move my old email to the file in my documents folder. Now we'll click the button that says apply these settings to all folders now. And click OK. Click OK again. Now you have set the default auto archive preferences for all of the folders in your mailbox except the contacts folder. The contacts folder does not auto archive. There's one folder set to auto archive that most people do not want to archive and that is the calendar. So to set the calendar to not archive, you'll right click on it, select properties from the bottom of the list, Go to the Auto Archive tab and select Do Not Archive Items in this folder and click the OK button. If there are any other folders you do not want to archive, you can do the same thing for that folder. You can also set different default Auto Archive settings for a specific folder by right clicking and going to Properties in the Auto Archive tab. Now that you've set up Auto Archive, it still will not actually run for two weeks or whatever frequency you set it to run at. When it does run, it will prompt you first. The first time it runs, it can take several minutes, but after that it should go fairly quickly. You do not want to close Outlook or shut down your computer while Auto Archive is running. If Auto Archive is running, it will tell you in the bottom right corner of your Outlook window. If you ever want to run an unscheduled Auto Archive, you can do so by going to the Tools menu, selecting Mailbox Cleanup, and clicking the Auto
Auto Archive button. It will run Auto Archive immediately. Thank you for watching.